Hello, I'm David, I'm Lindsay, and this is Desmond, Desmond Stonders. Welcome. We're at Port Soypool. I'm here early. Lindsay's working Saturday. So I've come out again. I have some time in Desmond. Thought we'd come to this spot. Lindsay will join me on Saturday. We'll look at the pool later. We've seen it before. Well, there's plenty to see in Portsoy itself and here at the pool. We tucked into a little bay and I've got the VHF and HF antennas up. Quite sheltered and there's plenty of bird life about. And I know one or two people will be drooling over this. And I'm one of them who's keeping them, trying to keep the mess off the lens. <laughs> Land Rover Porn on YouTube. Or on Desmond's Donders on YouTube. Even. One thing it does prove though, if a Defender can go down there, it's strong enough to take the weight of a Desmond. There's a dolphin at the uh, harbour at Portsoy. Hopefully we'll see some this weekend, the real thing. And hopefully we'll get some aerials of the harbour as well. Young goals. There's only a singleton last time we were, saw them breeding here. There's three this time. Looks like a successful year for the herring gulls. This boat's uh, port entering method is uh, interesting and we'll see more of it uh, from the air later. Portsoy Outdoor Swimming Pool was constructed with considerable help from volunteers. It was completed and opened in 1936. The seawater swimming pool was made by building a concrete wall parallel to the coast and joining two rocky spurs together. Here on the rocky east coast it was comparatively easy to enclose a rock pool which could be filled and refreshed by the tides. In the mid-1980s, due to continual movement of the tides through parts of the rock surrounds, a scouring effect meant the pool emptied during the low tides, making it futile for swimming. 
the local people were hopeful that Aberdeenshire Council would undertake the full repair of the pool, which was viewed as a very popular facility for the town and was one of the safest bathing areas along the Moray Firth coast. The council balked at the costs involved and as those who controlled the finances had the last word, pool after pool closed its doors along the Moray coast. And here, the fishing boat returns today with his high speed entrance to the port, followed by a crash stop. Seems a strange way of doing it, but uh, if that's his method and it works for him. Enormous snails. There's two of them. And I've never seen any so big. I'll go and find the other one. The second enormous snail. give you an idea, they're about two, two and a half inches across. It was great to meet Graham from G&J's Journey on YouTube. In a surprise visit, Graham lives just along the coast 
and uh, although we nattered for a, a great while the only time the camera was on was for the uh, obligatory selfie but as I say great to meet Graham and I hope we do it again
Well, there's the pool. And that is not far short of as full as it gets these days with a high tide. As I said before, everything seems blocked and it's just filtering up through the sands and then filtering away as the tide drops. But it's been out of use for years. It's a lovely place to uh, come with Desmond though. And then this happened. We hoped for a while it was going to abate, but in the end we gave up, packed up and didn't get too wet taking down the antennas and headed for home. Thank you for watching Desmond's Donners and remember please take nothing but memories and leave nothing but tracks. Please subscribe and ring the bell for notifications and hopefully we'll see you next time.